Hi, this is the latest installment in my 2016 F-150 story. I bought this truck used uh, about a week ago, and while I love it, everything works, well, almost everything, um, this numeric keypad um, doesn't because they didn't have the card that had the code on it. So it's my understanding from having read some some websites and from watching uh, a particular YouTube video that um, the 2015, 16, and 17 trucks had the code on a sticker. We're going to find out uh, if that is true. The sticker, as I understand it, is... Let me open the passenger side door. As I understand it, the sticker is behind this panel. Here's the door, um, and this panel here, it, it's underneath a, a rubber lip. Uh-oh. It's un, behind this rubber lip, and under this kick, this uh, entry panel, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So, one of the problems I have with a lot of videos I see is the people will say, well, I'm going to show you how to do this, and then the first thing you see on the video is, oh, well, I've already taken the whole freaking thing apart, you know, and the, the sticker's right here, you know. Um, well, that doesn't help me a bit. So, what I'm going to do is try to take you along with me as I remove what I understand is this panel is partially removed, um, this panel and then inside is a third panel which covers um, the fuse panel. There are apparently two fuse panels. One of them is here, one of them is in the engine bay. So to begin with I'm going to remove this panel. Actually you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to remove this first and then kind of see how this goes and because I'm sure that this panel here is just going to pull out. So that's going to be my plan. I need to grab um, a putty knife and um, maybe two putty knives just so I can can work um, the putty knives into this, um, see, this seal. And then we'll, we'll see what happens. So I have here a Red Devil brand putty knife, and I actually have not done this before, so uh, you're riding along with me. So uh, there's, a, there's a rubber seal here, and this, this um, panel that goes back apparently is um, just snaps on over here. There it is. The one thing I don't want to do is is break anything. Okay. Okay, so I'm hoping that's that's enough. Okay, I had to get it started, but basically this is the the fuse panel cover, okay? This is the thing that I just removed, and it's inside this kick panel or the forward of it. So, now let me move the floor mat, okay? And this cover just comes off. And there is the fuse box. Now, if, if what I'm what I've seen is correct, the label is somewhere back behind, you know, aft of the fuse panel. So this this um, does indeed need to come out, and it does seem to be free. It's probably a snapped on to something, but. I don't want to yank on it too hard. Hold on. Okay, I went off cam for a minute and um, managed to get a putty knife 
or the putty knife between this. This is a, a rubber seal that covers it. And I'm trying to work my putty knife up the seal without tearing the seal. So I don't see any way to hold the camera, so I'm gonna have to set it off a second, turn it off for a second. Okay, I've worked it. I've worked it so that the this panel, um, so that the rubber boot is, or the rubber lip seal is, or seal lip is underneath the vast majority of it. Um, and I've moved it sideways enough that I can actually push this lip up under the edge of the panel all the way up to the corner. And what I can feel from pulling on it right here is that there's apparently a clip probably right here that's holding it. So I'm going to put the putty knife underneath there and pry up and see if I can pull that, pop that uh, clip loose. Hold on. Okay, I've got the first one loose. It's right there. Okay, that was the first one. Now I'll see if there are any others farther up. Yep, there was a second one, about halfway up. And here's the third one I was talking about. And and there's a pin, a little plastic pin right here that goes into this hole. So it's going to have to go in this way and then be turned down. All right, so now the question is, the $64 question, it's probably more than that with inflation. And there's my code. All right, I'm going to flip the camera off, take a picture of it for me. Okay, um, I tested the code, and it does indeed work, which is good. So I'm going to put this panel back in now, and what I'm going to do is slide it underneath this uh, kick plate the entry plate and then line it up like so and again remember that pin now the pin is off is not on the mark yet okay that wasn't difficult I laid it in there and now I'm going to try to feed this this rubber back. Okay, got it started. Now I'm going to work it down. One hand for the job and one hand for the freaking camera. Probably should just use the putty knife because that works pretty well. Okay. Oh shoot, you know what? Damn it. Well, sorry, I've videoed it with it the camera up and I'm trying to learn not to do that. Okay so what I'm doing is I'm just working this panel back under the rubber lip. It's very difficult to do it and hold the camera at the same time. But I'll show you before I snap anything down. I believe this has got it. Um, it's not snapped in. Oops. So, but it is all the way down. So, I'm going to try to press it into place now. There, this first one went in.
you remember there was a, a tab here. I'm gonna have to set. All right. Um, so I was able to to push this thing. I slid it. I slid it in this way, and then worked the the panel underneath this um, tr this seal all the way down, and then I popped the this there was a, a tab here there was a tab down here somewhere I popped that one and then there's a third one which is and nothing's easy right here right here and I popped that one that was the last one I popped and now with this entry plate I'm going to push that back into, into place because I can see there's a, or I can feel, there's a tab right there which is going to push into place. Then there's one up, up here at the very front. And then it's all back into place. The last step, not counting the um, floor mat is to get the fuse panel back into place. So I can see that let's see here. There's a tab right right here and a tab right here. And there's a there is a slot right here and there is a slot right here. So that panel is going to go in there like so. Oops. Here we go. Right, it'll be apparent. If you get this far, it'll be pretty apparent. So the top of the panel fits right at the top of the, the fixed trim piece. So then we swing it in. And you may have heard it snap. Then, move my tools out of the way. And um, put my floor mat back in. Maybe I'll shake it out. But anyway, so that's the, that's the end of my story. I hope it's useful to you. Um, Thanks. Oh, and um, if you like this, uh, hit subscribe, please. Um, I'd like to have some, I guess, validation that um, I'm not wasting my time here. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.